Alright guys, today I want to do a quick overview of all the add-ons I've done for my 2023 Ford Maverick. I have a Larry Edition car. I just wanted to make this video short and sweet. These are the add-ons I would recommend you get depending on your model. If you have EcoBoost or Hybrid, this is pretty much going to be stuff I would definitely get for them. Also, depending on your model, if you have XL or XLT or the highest end Larry, these are all definitely mods I would get and we are going to start with and you notice that these are actual things I've actually purchased my own money, so you'll see like last purchase on them. They actually don't sell um, these decals anymore on Amazon, which is weird. And these really raised in price, but you can find these in eBay or Etsy or sometimes on um, Amazon about the raised letterings. You can see other people are selling them for $35. I paid 20 at the time. They've definitely gone up in price. They're just a piece of plastic that goes above the tailgate. I definitely think they look really good. These are the ones I bought. Obviously, they're no longer selling it, but you can get pretty much any of the different colors or whatever you want for your back tailgate. Definite must, I feel. And then again, for a tailgate assist, this is actually one of the cheaper ones. It's the Orin Motor Tech. I like it because it comes with additional screw. It has Loctite. You are going to lose your bottle opener on your tailgate, but your tailgate's going to go down slow. And this one is, a, for $22, you can't beat it. It comes with the screw. It was easy to install. You get the, uh, the fluid that locks it, like the blue Loctite that comes with it. And mine is working great. I'm at 300 plus opens and closes. I used it today, three or four, you know, three or four times, and it's been great. This is definitely, again, something I purchased, and it's a great thing to put for your car. Definitely get this model. It's actually one of the cheaper ones out there. It's not like the $17 one, but spend the extra few dollars, get this one. I don't recommend the D's ones. A lot of people say the DEs are, are breaking these ones for 37 so I would get this one, and it has good reviews, as you can see. I like it. And then... The Mobed Truck Bat. This is by far the best deal. Again, make sure you get either a gas or a hybrid, uh, depending, because the back seal of the backs kind of change. They're different because the hybrid has the battery opens in the back. But the reason I like it is you're getting the mats, you're getting the driver side, passenger side, the back mats, and you're getting the door seals. This is the door seals. It goes on top of the door seals. You get it for all four of your doors. And you get a bed mat. You're getting a bed mat, the back of the bed. So I think for $180... If you don't already have good mats, I would highly recommend this kit. This is the best value out there. The other really good mats I recommend are the 3D mats are really nice as well. So if you don't want to get this full kit, get the 3D mats from Amazon. They're still very, very good. But Mobed makes some good stuff. They also make pretty good seat covers if you guys are interested in that. I don't have them currently, but I like them. Again, you want to if you like the, the antenna's too big for you, Get the smaller stubby antenna. This is a smaller one. This isn't as small as the stubby juniors, even smaller. This is like half the size of the stubby, but it still gets good reception. So I got this one for $25, the Craven Speed stubby. It's fine. It looks better on the car. I like it. And then again, for the inside, this is very important. Uh, the interior of your Maverick is cheap. XL, XLT, Lariat, they're all very, very, very cheap. You're going to want to have this protectant and spray on all your plastic. Spray it on everything everything inside the interior this will help with scratches spraying your glove just spray this stuff i've been spraying it about once every other month and i only have a few scratches and my buddy i was looking at his he hasn't sprayed it he has scratches everywhere and i'm like he's like yeah the interior is really crappy it's like do you have any protectant on it he's like no i'm like dude he's like does that actually work i'm like it does it definitely works so i recommend the 303 protectant for your inside it's 13 bucks can't go wrong again uh i parked my car outside for work, uh, it's uncovered, so I highly recommend a sun shield. This fits the windshield perfectly. It lines up in the corner here, and it folds up really small. So I like this thing because it, it basically gets really small. It folds into a little bag. So it opens up big, and it folds into a bag really small. So I like it because it's foldable. It's, you know, it's cheap, 25 bucks. you know? Again, I have a leather steering wheel, so I want to keep it nice. I don't really think this is, like, the best thing in the world, but this I just got this steering wheel cover because I have the black interior. Do I like it? It's fine. It's a steering wheel cover. It's 14 bucks. It's whatever. I, I could take it or leave it with this. And then if you bike a lot, I recommend getting this Heimo bike pad. You want to get a 54 inch, I believe, for a Maverick. That's the size you want. Uh, I believe it says the size here. It should be like 50, uh, it's 52. 52 wide. 52 to 54 is what you want to do to fit in the Maverick. You're going to lose your backup camera. But I, I like going bike riding, so I recommend this. And then again, because I, I work out a lot, this is going to be very preference. If you work out and go to the gym, this is like a big towel for your seat. I sweat a lot. <laughs> so I have a, like, so this literally looks like my car. It's my truck and this, and it gets full of sweat. I wash it every week. I like it because I do, I sweat a lot after the gym. 
And then you want to get these mud pads. These are really good. These, sorry, mud pad. Mud guards. They go in all four. They strap right in. They're very easy to install. I'd recommend ceramic coating them as well before you install them to make them easier to wipe off. They definitely work and they look great. And the other thing would be, you can get this on eBay. You can get the other tri, the tri, tri fold hard roll up. I like this because it's secure. It rolls up three ways. You can see behind you when it's rolled up. You can take it on and off with ease. And I like that it's hard when you lock the truck on my Lariat. People can't get into it. And the biggest thing I've been telling people is if you have a soft roll-up, I live in a pretty ghetto area. Someone's going to rip that. I don't care who you are. They are going to cut your soft roll-up. These things are freaking solid for the money. So you get it on Amazon or eBay. But these hard trifold no-name covers are phenomenal. And you can get them under $400 sometimes if you look around. But Amazon has them. And then the last thing, if you have a new car, I... I recommend if you've never ceramic coated before, I really like this Nanobond. It's very cheap and it works really well. My car looks phenomenal after I just wipe, I constantly just wipe the car. I've, I think I've washed the car in six months, four times in six months, and I just wipe the car and it looks brand new. This stuff works really well if you apply it well. Uh, this kit's dirt cheap. It's 40, 40 bucks. I've done ceramic before, but it was very easy to work with. So what you do is wash the car without you know any soap or any, any waxes. Then you got to clay bar the car, get all the, the stuff off. Once you clay bar the car, you go panel by panel rubbing this nanobond in. And then you wait 24 hours to dry off. And the next time, your car is like really slick and hydroponic and the dust. You, it builds like dust in the paint. You just kind of get a microfiber and wipe it off. This is a game changer. If you're still waxing, I used to love to wax cars. I am a ceram I am sold on ceramic forever. It's ceramic is amazing. This product is very cheap because ceramics can be like hundreds and hundreds of dollars. But for the money, this 9H kit I feel for our truck is phenomenal. It's worth it's worth the money and it's been lasting over six months on my truck and it's, it's a great product for the price. And I highly recommend this one. So I have a whole full list of everything I bought so far. So the tailgate letters, the mats, the stubby, the inside protector, the sunscreen, steering wheel, bike pad, seat cover, mud flaps, trifold. Look how much caffeine I've had. The ceramic coating kit. Um, Again, I bought these ratchet straps, but I don't recommend them. They suck. These Stanleys, these are these are dog shit. I should have spent more money on a ratchet kit. Or again, you'll see I bought it. See on October, the this the thing's very sticky. I don't recommend these actually, but I do recommend you get a ratchet strap of some kind. You store it in your cubby or you store it underneath the seat. But I wouldn't get a Stanley. Amazon has other stuff. I haven't tried them or not. So if you want to go to Harbor Freight, but I definitely get like a good ratchet strap. Do these work? Yes. Are they good? No, they suck. I would not recommend them. And then again, if you're also going to be doing your, you want to get your oil filter and your oil from Amazon, it's usually a little cheaper than Walmart. Or if you're going to the dealership, it's going to be way cheaper than going to the dealership. But you can get your oil filter for 10 bucks on Amazon, which I highly recommend. This is the OEM uh, Ford filter. And see, I bought it in December. It's 10 bucks. It's the OEM filter, perfect for the truck. And then for oil, again, I like Penn's oil just because I feel it's very good performance, and I've, every carver and pencil has done really well. Again, I bought my December, and I bought five quarts of it. So our truck takes, I believe it's 5.8. So if, you, if you're buying five quarts, you're going to have to buy a single. So just remember that. But I bought a three-pack of five quarts, so I'm going to be good for two oil changes. And the five quarts is this really big jug. And it, it goes on sale sometimes, so you definitely want to do that. But, yeah, I would highly recommend uh, doing this. And I've spent a little under $1,000 on these add-ons for my Maverick. And I think if you are buying a Ma Ford Maverick, these are add-ons I'd recommend to you as well. If you have any questions, I'll have my links in the uh, things below. Let me know what other mods you think I should get or modifications and put them in the comments below.